actually, I, Tom, I'm listening to you talk, it's kind of interesting because I, in coming, in my, my thought of, of um, specifically Duke and engaging within Duke has come, I've, I've, a recent, I've recently moved here, I think this is my second year here, so coming into this, coming to Duke and moving to Durham has, in the last year, I've found myself at, a, at an interesting place where I've sort of fallen in love with the city of Durham and I'm in the middle of Duke and getting to know Duke and I'm finding an interesting tension between what those two personalities are and, and how they engage with each other. Um, and so to go, to go directly to, um, as Linda talked about, so during theater, um, part of this last few months has been, for me, thinking about how theater can somehow, and theater studies, can somehow begin to just open up a discussion for that and the role of theater as, as a means of, of discussion. Um, and I've known Sojourn Theater's work uh, for quite a few years. Um, one of their company members was, um, went to, I went to grad school with, and so I've sort of followed the work that they've been doing. And I got really excited about their work and their potential for coming and collaborating with theater studies here to start to look at the relationship between our Duke students and Durham and and what you know what does that mean and, and how can that be how can it just be talked about or addressed. Um, and so the project that's coming out of that uh, at this point is that in the spring of next year we're going to be um, putting together a uh, performative event, is what we've been calling it, um, with uh, Nina Prier, who's a colleague of mine in theater studies, um, is teaching a course, and I'll be teaching a course in the spring, and our students and the Durham community coming together with Sojourn to create this performative event with Durham, and for Durham, and in Durham. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the idea being that to think about the arts and engaging and, and the discussion that come, can come from theater, um, I think often that idea of, of um, a dialogue can often be people performing and then audience hearing and thinking about, and it, a sort of one-sided, one, it can a continued dialogue, but often one-sided. And, and the work that Sojourn does is really tries to extend that conversation beyond just um, performed and, and witnessed, but to actually engage with the creation of a community and a place to create topics and a performance that is brand new, made for site-specific work with the community and the place involved, and then opening up a conversation with the performance so that in that performance itself, it's asking a lot of questions and it's continuing to um, make that dialogue beyond just the making of it and the performing of it. Um, an example is they've worked with, um, they worked with Georgetown during the 2008 uh, election and did a performance called The Race and they worked with their students to create this, this show and part of the show was um, presidential karaoke <laughs> where <laughs> the performers and the audience could come up, choose a speech by anyone, they could flip through speeches, and they'd have the speech, and they could come up and, and any person could read the speech. And the idea being that asking that question of what, the performance itself was really about what do we want as, from a leader, and, and what, what are our expectations of leader. And, and by doing this, it became this, this opportunity for the audience to witness both the words and the person saying the words with an understanding of the context of the event of the election and the place being in DC and and it being an event where it's a performance but the audience has the potential to become a literal part of that performance as well. Um, so I'm really excited about bringing Sojourn and Theater Studies is, is, is taking the plunge to, to bring this company with us to collaborate next spring and um, and hopefully through, through both our classes and work, right now we're working with Bull City Forward um, and hoping to connect with them and, and some of the organizations that they're involved with to, to get Durham community involved in creating what at this point is probably going to be a parade, but um, some sort of performative 
the best, and um, and start to ask questions about about this relationship. And instead of do offering an opportunity to give to Durham, really make a bridge between the two by building something together um, with the students and with the community. Um, and, and trying to connect and actively, um, actively cre create something and ask questions so that in the process of making our post, the engagement and the questions that you're asking is also continuing into the viewing um, and the presenting of the work to the audience. Um, so that's that, I guess that's that's sort of where I'm at, and and certainly where I think I think the dialogue that theater can have is a very clear, and you know, obviously that relationship between audience and performance um, is is always a moment of engagement, but um, but it does feel like there's a there's a point at which that engagement can um, be heightened and extended uh, beyond the beyond an act of telling, but an act of discussion.